Hello. So today I'm going to show you how I start my SG-37 Cold from the Crown, be it in single player or multiplayer. First thing you want to do is to turn on your electric system by pressing right shift and L. You can see that the uh, lights are on as well as the hood. Now uh, I know this is actually kind of daytime, evening and stuff, but uh, if for example you start in a kind of late night mission, you can press L turns on the cockpit illumination but I'm gonna switch it back off by pressing all again next you're going to go to the rearm menu which is right alternate plus uh, the uh, kind of prosophema uh, it's I don't know what you call this let's see rearm. yeah it's it's that little thing I don't know what you call it okay so right alternate with that small thing you can see we have this rearming menu. I'm just gonna go quickly. Here I have a normal preset loadout on my air to ground attack with bombs and rockets, as well as the Indonesian livery skin. However, I feel like flying everywhere and not with this skin. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna pop up the menu, uh, select one of the loadouts. Now I have this already set in the mission editor, uh, created as a preset loadout. I'll explain in a separate video on how you do it and we can see the change alternatively you can just manually select uh, whatever you want the parts bombs and stuff board number is the number that will show up on your nose I'm gonna put 47 and um, I'm gonna try the SG-25 skin that's the ground request now one thing to note though is that uh, when you're rearming you have to make sure that you are cold, you have your engine completely shut down, and uh, ideally also your canopy open. You can see that the kind of Russian SU-35 skin is on, and the crew is eventually replacing the guns and bombs with missiles. While we're waiting for the ground crew, uh, uh, ground crew I'm going to s turn on the wingtip navigation lights by pressing right control and L. You can see on the right side, there's the green no light. Idea and the red light on the left wing tip. Also the ground crew just announced that the rearming complete and just a quick check. Yes indeed we're going in our air to air low. <laughs> now another thing you can uh, do if especially on multiplayer and nighttime is turn on your nose gear light. This is done by pressing right alternate plus L. You can't really see it because it's daytime but first time you press you have basically the landing light on I'm gonna press right alternate and L again this is the taxi light which is not as bright and then one more time to switch it off that's the same for the wingtip lights by the way uh, pressing right control and we we'll just turn it on and off and on and off on and off alright so I'm gonna turn on my taxi light on alright I believe we are all set to start our engines. Now before you start your engine you have to make sure that your throttle is in a fullback position. So uh, whatever hood has you set up you set, make sure you pull it, the slider, all the way back to the idle. Then I'm going to press right alternate plus home to start my left engine and right alternate control to uh, plus home to start my right engine. See, that's the uh, engine setup and the sound of the APU kicking in. Uh, that lovely sound. Alright, while we're waiting for the uh, engine to start up, it's gonna get a bit pretty loud, so I'm gonna close my canopy with left control plus C. Lovely. I'm also going to put my flaps to the uh, takeoff landing position by pressing right shift plus F. See on the cockpit indication that the flaps are down. Quick view outside will also open the And uh, it's gonna basically do a little check. You don't have to. Works. So that's elevator. That's a roll. That's a rudder. And I can also confirm in the cockpit. Well, ah, one second. That, that's the elevator up, down, up, 
roll left, roll right, roll left, roll right, rudder. Alright, so we're good. Now, one thing to note though is that when you move your rudder, your nose actually didn't move. This is because you need to engage the nose with steering rudder. Alright, uh, I have the English cockpit mod on, and you can see this is the switch with the nose for steering. And if I press left alternate plus Q, you can see that thing pops up. And when I move my rudder, my cockpit also moves. This is a nice way to check, basically. Right. Now we are all set to taxi. I'm going to press right control enter just to show the kind of interface over here. This gives a nice um, display of kind of where throttle is if you don't have track IR and you can't really glance down as to what a setting you have. So with my nostril steering on, I'm going to pass my throttle up slowly. Alright, let's say I have to slow down, I'm going to press W. With this is the basically the wheel brake and our aircraft stops. Keeping it steady, pressing it hard a little bit. Now on the ground you will not be able to tell the airspeed or I mean the ground speed of your taxi so ooh, going a little fast the, the way I like to do basically is to reference it to the runway line I mean the taxiway lines normal taxi speed you want to keep about one to two lines passing your canopy every second so for example this is passing at about one second ish per second I mean one line ish per second this is basically the good taxi speed for me. Right, we're gonna keep moving. So much X. Oh, and yeah, this SG35 skin looks really sexy. Okay, we're gonna make our right hand turn here. Gonna slow down a bit with my wheel brake. Go up to the runway threshold line. I mean, the runway hold. And there we go. Now, once you're on the runway, uh, you have to always check for traffic. This is can be done manually by scanning both ends of the runway or pressing F10, which turns you into the map. You can see there's a custom mission so that it's all clear. Uh, anyways, uh, I don't know what happened, but my frap suddenly crashed, so, okay. But we're still back on the runway threshold. Check that the traffic is clear, and we're gonna move on to the runway. She's a little heavy, so uh, she needs a bit of a push. All right, there we go. I also one thing to bear in mind is that uh, if you're doing this on multiplayer, ignore the AI ATC, do not use it. You'll have to announce your intentions on SRS or in the chat. Gonna stop here. Right, uh, we've pretty much aligned ourselves with the runway and ready to take off. Gonna do some uh, final checks. So, uh, the labs, uh, gear. Making sure that our nostril steering is still on for the first stage. Alright, all good. So, gonna check our air brakes. Forgot to do it actually. Yep, okay, air brakes is checking out. Good, tracked it. Now, the takeoff procedure has uh, quite a few things that uh, you might want to pay attention to. The wheel brakes will not hold your aircraft all the way to full power, or hold it about to about, uh, I think, 80%. So, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your wheel brake, advance your throttle, and then once your aircraft starts moving, you release the wheel brake and let it uh, basically roll down the runway. The airspeed here is stuck at uh, 80 km per hour because it will not read anything below that speed. Once the airspeed starts getting above a 80 km, like 90 or 100, 
you want to make sure to disengage your nose wheel steering. All right, with that in mind, we're gonna hold the wheel brake. Wah, wheel brake. Let's see in the uh, indicator here. All right, hands of throttle. All right, now it's still holding, but it's kind of restraining. And I'm gonna advance it to full. And here we go. Release the wheel brake. With the uh, kind of airspeed on, we're gonna disengage the nozzle steering. And once you reach 300 km, I'm going to rotate. Let's say lift up, gear up. It's indicated by the lamp. And once your airspeed is above what, 400 km per hour, it'll retract your flaps. And once you're a good distance away from the airfield, I'm gonna switch off the uh, wingtip navigation lights by pressing right controller now. All right, well, this is it. Uh, successfully started your aircraft in DCS. I mean, we all DSC 27, that is. Yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of short attempt of doing live commentary. It's my first time, and frankly, I'm terrible at it. Alright, this is Ketchup. Good luck, stay safe, and... Ooh, what the hell's going on? Okay. Alright, this is Ketchup. Good luck, stay safe, and yaha. Welcome to DCS.